Hey my friends, John here and for with another episode of Connecting Through Magic. We're going to do a coin trick today. I'm going to show you a coin move that can be used for a lot of different things. I'm going to show it to you um, uh, using a coin, but then I'm going to also show it to you using um, another object. But it's uh, from a book called Bobo's. It's from uh, Modern Coin Magic by Bobo is the last name. And... Um, so here, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to bring it down so you can see it, and then I'll bring it back up. So here we are. Um, got a dime. So you take the dime and you throw it into the hand like this. You give it a little squeeze. What ends up happening is that it goes grows just a little bit bigger. All right, that is a move called the Bobo Switch. And um, the, so here, I'll do it again. So we've got... Um, Got the, uh, got the 50 cent piece, it's a walking liberty. What's strange thing about that is that if you, if you apply some heat to it, you actually can make it shrink. So, I love this move. It's a fantastic move, and it's gonna take a little bit. It's fairly easy, but you're definitely gonna wanna practice in the mirror. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a coin in this, you're gonna hold a coin, a dime, or let's say you're using, I, um, well, I'm gonna use the, uh, you've got the 50 cent piece, or 50 cent piece, but you could use a quarter. I'm gonna put the dime in there, and I'm holding the dime, just clipped. And it's a, this is called a finger palm position. So I'm, I'm holding it here, and so that a, so no one can see it, I'm holding it like that. And you've got the other, item here now whether it be a 50 cent piece whether it be a penny and as i come down like this i'm going to come here and i'm going to let go of the coin that's in the finger palm like that i hold i grab onto that and then i keep going down and as i go down i'm just going to let this just fall into the hand and hold it like that and then give the squeeze and then show the coin and it's amazing because the the eyes they see something fall out of that hand when I go like this they kind of, they see something go into that hand but because I'm grabbing it and the eyes follow that they they don't even question this hand if I didn't have anything in this hand and I did this like that it might it might look as well but if I open this up and there was nothing else there they'd want to look into this hand but because there is You've got the dime and you throw it. Because there's something in this hand, they forget what's in this hand and there you are. You could even put this hand in your pocket if you're standing and there you are. Now, I've used this for different things. You can use this. I'm gonna pull off the, my wedding ring and put the wedding ring in, in there. Um, and I've got, the, I've got the 50 cent piece. I'm gonna take the 50, so if I got the 50 cent piece, you know what's amazing about the 50 cent piece is that it actually is probably uh, what my wedding ring cost. At least I got that out of the Cracker Jack. No, I didn't, but still, that's the idea about that switch. You can use that. Um, I, for example, oh, I've got another thing here. I've got, I have here uh, the 50 cent, and I give it a toss, and I actually turn it into a crystal ball. Isn't that weird? So that's, the, the move is called the Bobo Switch. It's holding it here, again, holding an item in back into this clip. And as I toss down, I let go of that, but I'm, I keep this, I'm pivoting this down. So again, it's like here, toss, and then here. So you can use it as a penny, um, penny to a dime, which is a copper to a silver. You can use it as a penny to a quarter. You can use a quarter to a dime. You can use it from, I've done it to where I've, I've changed a quarter into a key, holding a key in this hand and tossing it down. But there's all kinds of things that you can do with it. I'm gonna bring it back up here so you can see my face. I hope you enjoyed that. It'll take a little bit of practice, um, but it's a beautiful move. And it's uh, based around, it's, again, it was, it's out of a book called Modern Coin Magic by Bobo. Um, and you can find it per, uh, published by Dover. Dover's done a lot of reprints, and so that's a great, 
a great coin book. Um, there are other there are other coin books out there, but that's a good one to get some foundation. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed that. And there you. I was trying to think if there's any last things need to tell say about it. No, if there is something that's not clear, feel free to message me, uh, and I'm happy to answer anything there. But thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you tomorrow.